is what happened to my country? You know, when they poll Americans, they find that a vast majority don't think the world is going to be a better place for their own children. And the changes that they introduced into American society on the American left. Let's begin. I don't think the incumbent is really in touch with how people live or what they need. That's what I tried to do as a lawyer, and that's what I hope to go on doing as a candidate. This time is different. A nightmare. It was a nightmare that should have never happened. That nightmare happened here at this nearly empty greenhouse in eastern Kentucky. App Harvest, a failed high-tech startup, promised local workers a future that spiraled into broken promises. Anthony Morgan bought into the company's public pitch see, that it was for farm. Appalachia by Appalachians. This campaign it reminds me of when the Cleveland Cavaliers drafted LeBron James to replace Joe Biden. I want to talk about J.D. Vance and his migrant worker problem. We was being told that, hey guys, he's from here. Thank you. Wow. He is J.D. Vance, the Republican nominee for vice president. There's no place out there for graft or greed or lies or compromise with human liberties. One of his first startups was just a criminal this, enterprise. This is me, Marco, talking. That used migrant workers. Hey, you redneck scoundrel still here? Welcome, time traveler, to the wonderful world of four years ago. Say goodbye to traffic jams. And hello to traffic parties. Strike up the band. And talk about healthy living. Everyone is eating clean. Don't feel like cooking? No problem. There's an empty seat in every bistro. But why leave home? Thanks to four years ago technology, you'll never have to go outside. Isn't that right, National Guard? Get inside! Get in your house now! Let's Vice go! Vice President who never forgets where he came from. And before we continue, please like and subscribe. It really helps out my channel. Leaning on his personal rise out of poverty to reach swing state voters as Donald Trump's running mate. I chose him because he's for the worker. He's for the people that work so a hard. A toxic and work environment, they called it. Because it was a horrible place to work. People were being sent to the hospital. And J.D. was making millions perhaps weren't treated like they should have been. But before politics, Vance was a venture capitalist and App Harvest's first outside investor, eventually steering millions of dollars to the company. Vance was a lead pitch man for the vertical farming startup, tweeting he was a supporter and investor, writing, I love this company. It's a great business that's making a big difference in the world. The company's investor presentation pledged a commitment to Appalachia, estimating thousands of new jobs to a poverty-stricken area. He sold the thing as, you know, a, a local boy who's going to, you know, set up a little startup back home, bring jobs to Kentucky. A major emphasis with them was... We want to bring work to Eastern Kentucky. This is why we are here. Morgan left a stable job to join App Harvest as a crop care specialist, pruning the greenhouse grown vegetables. A single father with six year old twins, the job rapidly turned when production fell behind under what a dozen workers described to CNN as mismanagement, including dangerous conditions. It was priority one. Hey, what's that sound? Why, it's people celebrating the real hero, President Donald J. Trump. He's taking this new virus from China seriously. Kung flu. And promises a speedy victory against the dreaded bug. It's going to disappear. One day it's like a miracle. It will disappear. And that's that. On to the newest craze, homicidal zookeepers. Ow, son of a bitch. <laughs> Damn you. Breaking news, the U.S. again shattering records for coronavirus deaths. Ah, hooey. Time for plan B. Supposing you brought the light inside the body. Plan C. You know, a lot of people think that goes away in April with the heat. Plan D. Hydroxy, chloroquine. Plan E. Slow the testing down, please. F. Staying at home leads to death also. G. The blue states had tremendous death rates. If you take the blue states out. <sighs> Team Trump is demanding proof that Kamala worked at the Golden Arches in Alameda when she was a teenager. 
And you know what, though? If you're going to claim you worked at McDonald's, you have to answer to the Burger King, and he wants answers now. Employees filed multiple complaints to the state and federal government alleging heat exhaustion, working in extreme temperatures, and lack of water breaks, though the cases were all closed with no citations. I think about the hottest that I experienced was around 128 degrees. We're sweating our yoga balls off right now. Inside. Inside. A couple days a week, you'd have ambulance show up and you've seen people leaving on gurneys to go to the hospital. How many days over 100 before? He had to hide his migrant workers. Come again. That is migrant workers. The cuts came next to promised worker benefits. Are those morons out there? Even had Mitch McConnell full. And then foreign workers came in to fill those so-called local jobs. The second round of folks they brought in was folks on work visas. And they didn't bring just a van full. They brought bus loads. Documents show App Harvest hired contract workers from outside the region. At one point, all of a sudden, everybody seemed to find a spare 500. As many as 500, the majority of its workforce, not locals. I can make them eat dog food now, they can stay. <laughs> and Plan H, the disinfectant by injection inside or the most appealing. And if all else fails, there's always the power of prayer. <laughs> what a wondrous time to be alive. But don't fret, those glory days are just a vote away. It's your choice this November, because hindsight is 2020. Go and join now! Get in the hell! <laughs> But that's not the image App Harvest wanted the world to see. This is Kentucky Senator Mitch McConnell visiting in 2021. Mitch McConnell coming through. Were the migrant workers there at the time? You're laughing. I mean, I look at the video. It doesn't look like there's any. They hid these guys. They took them out of the plant. They was gone. And then Mitch McConnell's giving a speech. About all this work that I Harvest has brought Eastern Kentuckians. Done by the Biden administration in order to wound or hurt an opponent, a political opponent. So go fig. J.D. Vance. Fucked over Kentucky. Fucked over the taxpayers. Cheney said there has never been an individual who is a greater threat to our republic than Donald Trump, which is crazy because before Trump, there'd never been an individual who's as great of a threat to our republic than. I like the idea of taking the tomato market away from the Mexicans. How about that? So they were trying to hide the migrant workers. Specifically, yeah. This worker, who asked not to be identified, says the hiring of migrant workers became part of a mirage that App Harvest was helping the region. He took this video as his co-workers clapped for visiting investors. And anytime they did that, they kept workers off the floor doing our like stationary parade while people come through. And uh, yeah, it was, it was awkward having to stand there and be a prop. A prop for what? You know, lo look at all of uh, these, these poor folks we're employing. <laughs> Never doubt that a small group of thoughtful and committed citizens can change the world. From prisons and from mental institutions, terrorists, and they're taking over our country. We have a country that's in big trouble, but this was a rigged decision right from day one with a conflicted judge who should have never been allowed to try this case, never. And we the worker says it's impossible to forget about his time at App Harvest as J.D. Vance ascends to national politics. He's gotten away with a lot of money and fame for pretending to be one of us. O-H-I-O. -O. He's just another grifter, just another carpetbagger, another tourist who wants to tell us what we are. Vance left the board in April 2021 to run for the Senate. Shareholders filed suit claiming they were misled. By 2023, App Harvest had filed for bankruptcy a little more than two years after its public launch. But the workers in this failed startup say they are the real people in the Vance story. Out there. Pulp friction, and of course, she is a failed president. She was a failed vice president. The worst president in the history, the worst 
vice president in history. He is incompetent. She's incompetent. Everything he's touched has been bad. Everything she's touched has turned to bad things. Sure, I got him like this. One, Kimberly Guilfoyle here. I'm looking forward to seeing you in the Cincinnati area at the annual Patriots Day Freedom Fest in Northern Kentucky. This is a free event and no ticket is necessary. It will be a day Do you blame J.D. Vance for any of this? I blame all of the original investors at App Harvest. I don't know if there's a God way up in heaven. The original board of directors know, know what was coming. You would have had to have been an idiot not to. It will be a day filled with great music and great speakers, including Donald Trump Jr., myself, and many more. The old song, I can't remember how it goes. Oh, yeah. Go on, take the money and run. That's what Republicans do. And J.D. Vance made millions. And now they're going to make him vice president. I'm Zachariah, Lone Star Liberal. Hypocritical sons of bitches. Y'all take it easy. So join us at this family-friendly political rally on Eric Dieter's farm. It's absolutely beautiful. And it will be filled with patriotic America first energy. It's a movement. But if we don't win, all it is is a little asterisk in history. There's never been anything like this. So go and register. Make sure you get out and vote November 28th. Help the cause of electing President Trump by joining me and thousands of other MAGA patriots at this one of a kind, incredible event. Seven days to decide the direction we're going to go. And I've been saying it. We can do anything for 87 days. Anything. She can't talk. She can't talk. And in many ways, he's worse than Bernie. She's worse than Bernie. Low IQ. He's a low IQ individual. She happens to be really a low IQ individual. She really does. She has a very low IQ. I can make them eat dog food now they get steak. <laughs> and my mantra is, and look, you can see it on me over the last five days. We'll sleep when we're dead. We'll sleep when we're dead. Come on, come on, come on, come on. We look forward to seeing come you there. Come on, come on, come on. Don't negotiate, let's investigate. We'll accelerate, I'll take it to 